In 476, there are only a few Hellenic holdouts left. Today, we're going to see if we can attempt to survive in a world hell-bent on stamping out paganism. And I do mean survive. I did have lofty goals starting this campaign, but believe me when I say that survival quickly became the main and only aim. So, let's see what I can do with the most hostile start in CK3. Alright chaps, if you look at the religions map mode, uh, you'll see something rather unfortunate, and that is the decline of Hellenism. Everywhere we're seeing, well, Chalcedonian take over, uh, and well, there's just no Hellenism here anywhere at all. So today we are going to attempt to remedy that. How you ask? Well, we're going to be playing as this random little count in Illyria and attempt... Is that Illyria? No, yeah, we're still in Illyria. Good, okay. Video's still on track. We're fine. Uh, and we're going to be attempting to spread Hellenism as far as possible. Uh, this character uh, is within the limits of uh, the character customization. I probably should have put more into learning now that I think about it from trying to spread religion. Instead, I went sort of very martial heavy. Um, we have Magnus Galli. Uh, he is our guy, our man in charge. Pretty sure our king is going to immediately revoke our uh, holding. So we need to make sure we're ready for that. We have 123. You know what? It's going to be a lot easier if we just modify our vassal contract. Give him high taxes in return for protected religious rights. Because otherwise he's going to kill us. We have 123 troops. That is kind of really, like, way smaller than I was expecting. Um, ha. Huh. Now I'm mildly concerned that this might not be possible. Oh, Coven granted the Duchy of Pannonia. That's nice. It'd be way nicer if I could, you know, conquer literally anyone, but we move. All right, it looks like we're gonna have to play tall. Okay, how do I... No, no. okay, actually I need a wife now that I think about it. I might just have to invest in, in the future of our, of our nation. So I'm doing a politician's pose when I do that. Yeah, we'll go for you. No allies, just pure genetics. Created a Ducal Jani, a divergent culture of Illyro Roman. I think we're Illyro Roman. Might, I think we're just pure Roman. Yeah, we're just pure Romans. Ah, I see. Levy size minus 25%. I'm starting to see where that's coming from. How far does the culture can delegate some of the council's form legions? Yeah, I don't think that's me. Okay, if I raise enough kids, then they can fight my armies. This is how we increase our levies. All right, we've got a kid. She's intelligent. That's stage one. To marry her off to someone. Damn it. This is fine. Oh, you're all allied to each other. Okay. <laughs> this is... I don't think this is possible. I'm starting to think that I've made a terrible error. Another kid. That's more alliances. This is this will be fine. This is how we do this. Got a son. He's quick. Good job. Oh, hang on. That's not bad. Ooh, Bavaria. Sweet. Or Nord Noricum. Excellent. That's a good alliance. Probably call him in. Okay. All right. All right. We're starting to starting to make moves here. Okay. We've got two decent allies. I was concerned for a second that I'd immediately been attacked. Okay. Well, they'll, they'll win that without my help, right? Yeah, that's the best kind of war. Do I want to become autocratic? What's my government type now? What we're meant to be having at this time? Autocratic is... Oh, damn, we need to be autocratic to reunite the Western Roman Empire. Don't know what that does. Don't know if that made me better or not. It's to think that it didn't. Ah, well. Okay, let's uh, let's start cracking on with this. Which one's more expensive? Yeah, definitely that one. Okay. We call in the Nordicum, guys. Pulling Yedisan. Where are Yedisan? That is not too far away. I think Noricum is closer, though. Also, they would actually accept. Collect our troops and then immediately run away. 37 commander advantage, though. That's pretty good. Oh, they're, they're, <laughs> they're chasing. They're getting closer. <laughs> Loop back around. <laughs> oh, Jesus Christ. Okay. Well, good good showing, lads. My marshal died and so did my steward. <laughs> that was a disastrous battle. <laughs> Come on, man. I didn't mean to click that button. <laughs> right, guys. No. Okay, no. let's reload that. <laughs> Jesus Christ, bro. <laughs> I don't play CK2 for like two weeks and that's it. I forget how it worked. I can't call my vassals in. My vassals, my allies in. I'll pay 37. You gonna come in now? Wait, which one did I call you? It's gonna make me... It's, it's gonna cost me prestige to call you in as an attacker. Why am I attacking? I don't want to die, so I guess I will. Wait, there's that wall. Okay, I just need the Gepids. No, the other guy. The, the Getia. Sorry. Easy for the Gepids to come around it. Oh, I think that came down to 10 men. Right, we're gonna take the attrition just to go and sit on this capital. I think it is worth it because we should be able to win this war here if we capture someone important. I have two guys in this entire army. Where are you going? The enemy's down here. My issue is my character is ambitious and arrogant, meaning that, well, let me show you. If I go for a white piece, then I gain, I, I basically die. <laughs> What's also fun is that my allies refuse to, to help me in battles. I don't know why. They win this very easily if they just helped. See, look, they help me, we win. They don't help me, we lose. It's very simple. All right, once I win this, it should be over. I'm not entirely sure why I'm losing war score here. Okay, that's just gonna depose him. That's literally what it does. I don't get any money for that. that or, or prestige for some reason. I feel like I should get prestige for that. But no, I I, I get to live. My guy's 33. He spent his entire life just to conquer this, that one province. Oh, the Ostrogoths. That's nice. That's t terrifying. They're called Theodoric the, the Garlic King instead of the Great. Okay. 
Cool. Obviously call my uh, horse Bucephalus. I've never picked any other name. It would feel wrong to now. Sure, I'll fight for Yedisan. What is wrong with you? <laughs> Why would you declare war on a, a, a guy that has 8,500 troops when you have 5,000? I can offer 500 troops. That's all I can offer. Come on, man, think. Prestige. Okay, King Theoderic is going to kill me. <laughs> this is a cursed game. 50 prestige such that I can then... Oh, I missed the grand tournament. But I need to declare war on these lot again. You learned the what? The Uyghur language? I've not been educated my, my air. Oh my god, Lathe, come on, man. As predicted, he's getting his ass kicked. Oh, great tournament. Let's join that. No cost. Perfect. I'm just going to walk on my own. Oh my god, it's a recital. It's just a recital. I turned... It's not a tournament, is it? I thought we were going to fight and you turned up with... God's sake. Guaranteed to qualify. Wonderful. Right, let's try and recite poetry. This is why the Huns invade. We are lost. Not very good at the, uh, the old oration. We won? We won a poetry thing. We got a prize ring. What? Okay, well, there's all the prestige we need. Head home, I suppose. Well, that was... Like I said, that's all the prestige we need to declare war, so... Let's, um... Right, let's try not be massacred this time. My... Okay, right. I need to replace you. The fervor of my... It's gone to 67%. Our fervor, as you can see, has been <laughs> knocked down by 30% by our scandalous priest. Get out of here. My god. Single... Imagine being that bad at your job that you single-handedly reduce everyone's belief in the entire faith globally by a factor of 30%. People are 30% less inclined to believe. That's a bad day as a priest. Oh, we'll take another province. How's this war going? Doesn't look like it's gone well. We have 400 troops left. All right, it's about that time again where the uh, Getia suddenly became a lot smaller. I need more allies. They're a bit closer, I suppose. Oh, I'm invited to a hunt. Please. Oh, I wasn't going to arrive. Into Intricate web weaver. Oh, my leaves being attacked by King Theoderic. Yeah. I need some prestige and I can get independence. At least attempt to get independence. Oh, interesting. Why don't I have a Caspella against this queen? Why? Why? Don't border her, that's why. But why? Man, this is tough. The Visigoths have collapsed. And Akita is a uh, box upon Iberia. How do you keep getting more allies every time I see you? All right, we go after Asura, which is tiny. I want to win a battle on our own for once. We're actually killing more men than we lose each time. I think it's important. Yeah, look. Even though <laughs> we lost to... Well, that's convenient. Oh, he got main. Internal injuries. Bro, what maimed you? He had a kid just before he died, so now I'm gonna come for today. Oh my god. Nah. <laughs> nah. Not today. Because otherwise, it'd be, it's gonna be this this kid who is a g intelligent. He's pensive, the stupid... Pr I mean, um, the... Uh, the old ra rascal. All right, you know what? Just go full learning, man. Go full scholarship. Try and reform our faith. You, Claudius, you got to do something, man. Please save the video. I'm the best we have at learning. This is not good. To so bribe a bunch of guests to help me murder my son. What? Um, why am I? What? <laughs> I want so many of these stupid um uh it, with my liege that they they can get deposed. They're now cycled back around to the old ones. So I have a, I have a truce with a guy. Before I, before he's even revoked it for me, so four years. Okay, I've murdered a child. Okay, my wife's dead. <laughs> Getting worse. I think one guy just took out a few there. Oh, it's very useful. Thank you so much. The raiders have really helped us there. We can join forces. It's not my land yet. You can raid it all you want. You can win this before it does any damage. That'd be great. Thank you. I do need to be ready to fight you. Ah! Oh, oh. <laughs> the issue is that every time that these guys, I haven't been able to expand at all, and this guy is like 50 year reign, despite his pretty much overpowered nature because I designed him because every time we have to fight against the entirety of Illyria over and over and over again so we can only expand a little bit at a time this might be a chance cool so if uh, if he wins I die I'm right, on offer to join your war oh my god Hellenism's completely gone I don't know what happened to it our Hellenic provinces have now all gone Chalcedonia <laughs> there's not a single Hellenic province there's only one Roman one left oh we need to fix that Christ but why would it flip it was under our control I don't get that it was this one. This one was definitely Hellenic. Right, let's try and blackmail our liege. Excellent, we gained a hook. And get him to declare me regent, which is just kind of funny. Okay, make a decision. I'm just going to keep following you around, man, but you've got to make a decision. So you'd think after seeing off the Ostrogoths that life would get easier, right? Not so, because immediately afterwards, the Ostrogoths have allied the Eastern Roman Empire. <laughs> it's a rock and a hard place, but I think that adequately describes how horrible our situation is. And I'm dying. And everyone's allied around me, man. I don't know what to do. I've been sat like this for a while because I really, really am I'm not sure. I don't know how we win this or do anything. Okay, my son has good stats at least. They call me the Hellenic. That's kind of sick. 
Okay, that's reignited my passion a little bit. That's maybe there's a chance here. All right, let's think. What do we have? I mean, we can continue growing in Illyrica. There's not really much of a problem with that. There's been a rather worrying development, uh, and that is this. I can't declare war on another imperial province. It looks like Illyria has transformed into a uh, like an empire type government, which means you can't declare war on others inside of it. Uh, which makes well, no, at least provinces. I don't. Well, I can declare war on some, just not these ones. I can declare war on you, but I can declare war on you. Okay. I'm just going to go around collecting tributaries. That's the plan now. And then after 20 years, I can annex them. The tributary system seems to be a little bit broken. So I had to reload. Uh, I'm not too sure. I'm going to continue to shore up. Uh, I say shore up to just expand slightly. Tough soldier. How is your brother? Okay, sorry. The brother that I didn't educate is better than this one. So this one I educated. 15, 15, 15, 5, 10. Okay, no. Uh, no, no. 15, 15, 15 is pretty hard to beat. Okay, so we've got a good air. Trying to set them up well. Right, I've secured a bunch of allies. It's going to be important because I need to fight this guy before our truce ends. 14 months. Because otherwise he'll declare another war against me. And then I'll just be kicking the can down the road again and again and again. This time we need to declare independence. Unless I do something else like start a faction. Got to hold on for 11 months. But that does mean our allies combined strength is like, yeah, 5,000. Now he, he might declare war the second it happens. So we've got to be super careful here. Anything, can I do me? What, I, what, okay, this could be rather amusing. If I declared war for Rugaland to be our king. Now, why would that be beneficial? Well, I could expand again within a smaller kingdom. Things would be better given that everything, like being independent right now is not going to help us. So I think if I do that, create a claim of faction for the king of Rugaland. Finally, <laughs> I, like, I like the fact he's responding to us. Finally, the king of Valyria is nothing more than just acting like king. I'm sure the realm will rise to my cause. Due to my lowly uh, status, I cannot aid you. But notice when you're victorious, I'll see you rewarded handsomely. All right, we go. Pull this guy in. The Danes, by the way. So I just need to survive until the Danes get here. My ruler is good at fighting. I don't know if he's worth a thousand extra men. I might have made a state we can go straight for the capital. But the Danes are here. Okay, good. Okay, we're in firm. Come on, we can do this. Do this for our son real quick. Okay. Unfortunately, the, the guy has died. That might be better for us. Because this way around... Yeah, this way around, we'll get a good relationship with this guy. Oh no. I'll explain what I've just done once the war's won because it should become painfully obvious. There we go. So we're going to force our demands and you might realize something. Valeria is still separate from Rugaland and that's because he's not the actual king. He's a king regent. <laughs> okay, this does give me religious rights as well as title revocation protection. So that that is does help a little bit. I want to test something though. If I do war declaration sanctioned, then can I declare war on another imperial province? No. Okay. All right. Well, either way, we'll get protected religious rights and uh, title revocation. So that gives us some room to maneuver. Oh, no. Australia's formed. And they've allied this tiny little state underneath us. All right. Let's go after my brother. Take his land. My twin. Playing as a Hellenic in the decline of Hellenism really is miserable. So, I mean, that's not that shocking. My twin still likes me. <laughs> he understands what I had to do. Blue didn't take some slight swelling. Oh, God. God. Oh, we have some sort of cancer. No. 80% chance to get incapable. Oh my God, we just started to get somewhere. Anything that serves proof that time still passes. Yeah, well, you're not horrible as a backup. You're just not great. Oh, well, that, that solves that. It's not a great position to be in, but it's not the worst. So uh, I got some, some bad news. I went to convert some land. Turns out that my, my king is my king is not Hellenic. Fortunately, there's one Hellenic guy left, my half-brother. I don't know how I have a half-brother, but sure. No Hellenic province for me to convert off of, so yeah. And I'm missing a decent amount. Okay, we're gonna have to try and convert, because it's gonna be a lot easier. In the meantime, let's continue on this uh, crusade of ours, for Quality Crusade, to try and unite Illyria under a Hellenic ruler, even though we are neither <laughs> Hellenic, <laughs> nor looking like we're gonna get Illyria. Dude, this has been the hardest campaign I've ever had in CK3. This is, usually at this point I've broken out, I've done something. But this has been so hard. Oh, look at that. Because of a blunder, I got an unpressed claim on the region of Makva. Perfect. Let me go grab that off the Byzantine Emperor, shall I? Continue the conquest. Why are these guys even here? None of these wars are to do with, put, like, to do with us. You know, they're all to do with Rugaland, which has steadily gotten smaller despite the fact that I made our husband a king. And Karis of Li Where did you come from? Why are you in charge now? Ah, because Sigbald died. Okay, well, my attempts to unify Illyria and Rugaland have resulted in Rugaland becoming a rump state and Illyria being way more important. Okay, I can't declare war on any provinces here. All right, we're gonna go on a pilgrimage. Pious pilgrimage to Jerusalem. I experienced captain so I don't die. Also some mercenary guards so I don't 
die. Okay, more, more, more piety. There we go. Off we pop. I've arrived in Jerusalem. All right, that should be enough, actually. So we went all the way to Jerusalem. Discover more about Christianity. Just to come back and think, you know, that Zeus chap, he's, ooh, he's, he's a big don. Excellent. So now that our journey's concluded, convert to faith. This also converts a lot of people with us. There we go. Glory to Zeus. And this province actually already is Hellenic. So that's nice. We've got one Hellenic province, lads. Two, actually. Sweet. Well, right, let's switch over to a theology focus. I just need this woman to die. She's a 52-year-old drunkard, so that shouldn't be take too long. Yeah, brilliant. She died. Okay. Now, these shouldn't be Imperial provinces, right? But should, in theory, be able to just run around and murder them all. This was an amazing play. Oh, my half brother's dead. But where's your capital? Is it over there? You know, I'm just gonna wait. Could win this battle, actually. I'll do. Next step is to become independent, and then I can conquer back this false Illyrian that I created. Disillusion faction. All right, let's do this. Time to call in my boy, the Harry of Moravia, because uh, otherwise we're gonna get our asses kicked. All right, we go. There we go. Excellent. I don't even know what happens when I, I've never declared a Disillusion War before. Illyria is destroyed. That's actually perfect. And then I can become. Ah, they siege some Illyrian armor. Oh, sorry, Laminar Roman. Oh, whatever that is. 98%, 99, and 100 sent so we just destroy the realm that we unified technically and we can create the kingdom of illyria <laughs> well dalmatia in this case apparently we couldn't take illyria but there's the kingdom of dalmatia we are a king a hellenic king uh are you okay I'm so sneaky that your head is invisible i shouldn't have clicked that up okay he's like a torch <laughs> Okay, my guy died. We're now King Magnus. Still Hellenic. Bit naff, but that's fine. This guy's ambitious, compassionate, calm, and charming. And now two Illyrias. Three, four Illyrias. Five Illyrias. All right, we managed to convert our capital to Hellenism. You know, it's spreading out all over the place. Hellenism is definitively making a comeback. And I wasn't a capital. My capital will be converted. Three years, really not that long. Look at that, we're actually bringing back Hellenism. That's shocking. Okay, we are an insightful thinker. Make sure we end the regency. Discharge it, but she wouldn't accept. Yo, you're my mother. Give me my, give me my, come on, man. What is this? All right, we're gonna have to spend money to swing the scales. Door Imperial Province. Oh, sounds cool. Okay, let's get engaged to a 10 year old genius. You and I will be the best couple ever. Ah, it's a creepy thing from a 10 year old. I immediately regret my decision. Oh, to God, I never play this game with my girlfriend. That'll be an awkward one. And our capital is now Hellenic. All right, we're actually making a decent amount of money now, which is surprising. All right, I want to start declaring some holy wars, especially against this guy. So let's go on a pilgrimage. Ah, uh, this pilgrimage. That's Attica, right? There ah, we go this way. Grab ourselves some mercenary captains. There's some Dane drop over here, but it's, a, it's 1%. I think we'll be okay. Uh, let's go to Zealotry. I've not done that before. Go on then. Oh, well, that's my mother, isn't it? Yeah, my mother, regent, and rival. I can imprison her, right? With a bunch of piety, which is nifty. There we go. Now, that should be enough. To declare war on you for a holy war for a duchy. You will not take my coal on to... Not happy with that sentence. Ah, oh, Narcissus, son of wolves, who's stupid and wheezy. <laughs> I tried to convert him to... <laughs> To civilization, basically, I picked up this guy and he, he was raised by wolves. Yeah, I'm gonna, I'm gonna make him part of our family. This stupid idiot. That's very wholesome. I'm gonna murder my mother. I can't get any, uh, uh, any power away from her in the intent and trench regency, and so I'm going to have to kill her. It's very inconvenient because it stresses me out a little bit. However, I do have this cool boar tusk, so that's nifty. Supposed to feast. What a big feast, I imagine. Do for recreation. There you go. I feel so much better about the fact that I'm gonna kill my own mother because of this feast. Ooh, a sword. This war's been going on a long time. Four years to take three bloody provinces. Taking a while. Now, time to demand conversion from all of you. Well, that's convenient. Already captured him, so I can just demand his conversion anyway. Which is not a crime to not be Hellenic. I need to change that. Because even if I ever gold and that sort of stuff, she's absolutely not down to do it because she's my rival. She does have minus 8,000 prestige. Which is rather impressive, but fortunately, she's dead. Despite being compassionate, that lost me stress. That's another one now. Ah! I'm a 26-year-old man, I don't need... Ah, I don't know how to get out of this. Bro, no, just, just get out. Just get out. Get out. 1% chance, why not? I'm assuming you rejected it. I swear you. I can't even find a, a wife for myself for some reason. Who's my heir? Oh, dude, of course, the, the idiot son of the wolf thing. That's irritating. My regent is dead. Selfless. Ah, sweet. Okay, so this guy is... My loyal servant, so he'll, even if I offer him nothing, he'll accept. But you know what? Just because I'm nice, I'll give him some cash. Go on another pilgrimage. Time to Attica. We're quite slow. Much more piety earned. We're looking for more piety. And let's try and get this up to Paragon of Virtue so we can declare some religious wars. Increase in popular opinion and piety. I'm compassionate anyway. Oh, this is my region. <laughs> this is also my only son. <laughs> and I found him in my last pilgrimage. Oh, Pontus is separated from uh, the Byzantine Empire. I'm going to try saying that again without the voice crack. Pontus. <laughs> you get a bit more 
pious a little bit more. Nope, not quite. Still decent amount of piety there. We're a paragon of virtue. I think that's enough for what I have in mind. All right, let's sell off my son to the king of Alemania. Let's wait to get back home. All right, we've arrived. Oh, yeah. This is what we want to be doing. Got to go after the Ostrogoths for the kingdom of Italy. Oh, cool. They call me the traitor. Wonderful. Take a cheeky battle here. After all these years, I finally managed to marry that 10-year-old. <laughs> Sounds mad, but she's obviously she's no longer 10. Ooh, I want to create a legion now. Oh, we do a son hostage. Yeah, unfortunately, the Germans don't understand the concept of supply, and they're now dead. So no more legions for me because I'm going to have to hire some mercenaries. Gepid ban, that's all. Oh, the Germans are back. Lovely. Look, keep sieging. I don't need you to... Ah, he died. <laughs> nice. Okay, sweet. He died, and I had his his uh, heir in my, uh, in my dungeon. So there we go. We've taken over most of Italy as a Hellenic ruler. And I think that is where we're going to leave it for today. That was bloody hard, man. I did not... Uh, <laughs> I mean, I'm glad we pulled it out, so I had a video out of it. But there was there were a couple of moments earlier where I was sitting there thinking, I don't think I'm going to be able to do anything with this. This is, this is kind of screwed. But yeah, I, I think we, we've definitely survived as a Hellenic uh, ruler. I mean, there was a, a point in which there was a, not a single Hellenic province and we've definitely revived a little corner of it. Well, we're more common the Roman version, at least. So yeah, if you did enjoy, please do make sure to like and subscribe. It really does help me out. If you have any other suggestions for CK3 videos and indeed other games, please do put them down in the comments below. Otherwise, I will see you all next time. Goodbye. Huge shout out to my Patreons. Most importantly, Redguard76, Lewis Wright, Ryan B, Atreides, Blenderman, Krilly, Ghostwolf, JDow52, Xiaomi, Luke, Matthew McHugh, Mike473, Mikey Lewis, Original, Shadow Singer, and Tom. This support means a lot, guys. Also here, why not watch another video? I mean, it's it's right there. Just just click on it.